Hi guys! Uh, there's a few things that I thought you might want to know before the parent meeting because um, I wanted to give you as much time as possible to buy anything that you need to. So I'm going to talk about a few things, um, hopefully really quick. Alright, this is a show bin. Um, you might also know it as just a big plastic bin that you can buy at Target or Walmart. Um, you do want it to be about this big because the kids have a lot of things to go in them. Um, they do write on them, uh, so it is nice to have a, a clear bin that you can see what's inside it so that as you're rushing out the door and you say, is your makeup in your bin, they can look inside and say yes. So this is a show bin. The kids will need to have this by costume parade. Another thing that is helpful to have is something to put their makeup in. It doesn't have to be this big or this exciting, uh, but it's nice to have a way to organize their makeup and keep it all in one place. So, uh, inside we've got the things that they might need. Every child will need their own hairbrush. They, they cannot share hairbrushes. Uh, they will all need deodorant. Uh, it is helpful to put moisturizer on underneath the stage makeup because it is hard on their skin. Um, and then makeup wipes or like cleaner are really helpful as well. So this is helpful to have. Also your makeup kit will not have mascara with it. And the eyeliner that comes with the makeup kit is challenging to use and so we often suggest that people buy just a, a cheap eyeliner to use instead. Uh, inside their show bin, they're going to keep all their stuff, their quiet activity, their makeup wipes, their cover up, their makeup, and their costume for the show. Alright, my camera person would like me to also add that you should test your show bin for strength because the show bins take, they take some pretty hard treatment and sometimes they get sat on. So, buy one that's, that's sturdy. Okay, next let's talk about modesty layer. So let's pretend that this is your child's costume. Alright, so they've got a little tunic and a pair of leggings. And the modesty layer is the layer they will have on underneath that costume. It won't be seen, but it allows the child to change from one costume to the next uh, in the open space that they have to change and still be covered. So for example, under that costume, a modesty layer might look like a tank top and a pair of dance shorts. So you want to think about what will not be visible from the outside and also what's not going to make wrinkles from the outside. So if the child wearing the first costume had to uh, go get their costume repaired and take off a piece of their costume, they would still have their modesty layer on and they would be just fine. The kids change in the halls and in the green rooms, but there is not space for them to change in the bathrooms. So the modesty layer allows them to change one costume to the next or change into their street clothes and still be covered. And this goes under their costume for every dress rehearsal, every show, and they leave it on under their street clothes to leave at the end of the night. Okay, two more things really quick. Um, every child must have a modesty layer even if they don't change costumes during the show. The reason for that is they change out of their costume at the end of the night and we want them to be wearing that modesty layer so that they can change at the end of the night. Uh, so everyone must have a modesty layer at all times. There's also the chance of a costume getting damaged, ripped, uh, well, those are the main, major dangers. If that happens, they still have to take it off to get it fixed. Another thing is CYT has started doing bin stickers, which are really cool. So you can see the Lion King bin sticker right here. And um, so these are available in your CYT account, and they're great to stick on the bin uh, so the child has a record of the shows that they did. Also, make sure they put their name on both the lid and the bottom of the bin. 
Thanks so much. If you have any questions, please let me know.